Welcome to Sarams. We are here with the summary of the book Man's Search for Meaning by Dr. Victor E. Frankl. Here, Victor E. Frankl shares his personal experience when he was imprisoned in concentration camp along with millions of prisoners. This book consists of two parts. Part I is about the struggle of people in concentration camp during World War and part I, I describes the importance of logotherapy. Let's begin with part I. During World War II, Nazi Germany operated more than a thousand concentration camps which were run exclusively by SS. People from German-occupied Europe were imprisoned in the camp. Firstly, prisoners were made to line up and were grouped into two parts. The group on the right side includes smart, strong, and healthy-looking men, and left side includes sick and those incapable of work. After the division, men on the left were brought to crematorium and transformed to gas, whereas men on the right had to work for construction. They were kept in very bad condition, provided with shirts, which they had to wear for half a year, a bowl full of soup once in a day, no proper sanitation, not allowed to carry personal cleanliness, no waste management. This was making their condition more pathetic. Prisoners who were kept in cold had to suffer even more. First bite, lack of clothes, frozen water leads to sickness. In spite of poor health condition, they had to work hard. There was no medication which caused more number of death. After somebody's death in a camp, their friends haunt the dead body for clothes, shoes, and his remaining foods. Prisoners were treated badly at work. They were beaten without reason by capos. This adversely impacted on their self-respect. They were frustrated. Every prisoner once had thought of suicide as a better option to die. Carrying out all the hard physical labor, prisoners had to manage to look strong, smart, and fit for work. If they could not manage to do so and looked sick and emaciated, then they would immediately be sent to gas chambers. Thus, the only way to be alive was to look strong, physically, and fit for work. Where the life was surrounded by death, it was truly hard to search for meaning and not to lose hope. The prisoners were hopeful to some extent. There was a patient of Dr. Frankel who was fighting with typhus. He urged to share his dream with the doctor. In the dream, he was promised to answer any of his questions by an unknown sound. He was to get true answer. So he questioned, when will I be free from this camp? When will I go home? When will this war come to end? And he heard the answer. You will be free by 30 March. He had this dream in February and had been waiting for March. The day passed by and the war began to grow more wildly. His hope of getting freedom was disappearing in the cloud of war. He started losing hope. By 29th March, he was caught by adverse illness and he died on 31st March. Dr. Frankel then realized that this patient was unable to find a why in his life. He could not respond to situation positively, so he left the world. Despite the situation, Dr. Frankel managed to suffer in the concentration camp for three years. He had got strong hope and did not lose it at any difficult situation. He felt positivity in his thoughts. He also started writing to distract himself from that worst situation of the camp. The feeling of love towards his wife and expecting to meet her was the hope of Victor. He had strong why in his merciful life. The thought of his wife was the only hope to face that challenging situation. He realized that human can adopt any worst situation. Just the matter is, Strong meaning in life can help to face difficulties. After years of struggle, pain, and sufferings, prisoners were rescued by Red Cross. Every man who survived till the end of the war 
was because of love and hope. Coming to part II, Victor E. Frankl describes the logotherapy as the meaning of human existence and a primary motivational force in man. It says, man is able to live and even to die for the sake of his ideas and value. Mm -hmm. Logotherapy tries to make people understand his responsibility. The major factors that helps to find meaning in life is to love and suffering. The real meaning of life is what keeps you alive and happy.